Now, once you know the type of product that you're going to create, you're also going to want to create some complementary products that you can sell in the upsell. Now, having an upsell is not mandatory, but you will attract more affiliates because they'll see that you, they can earn more commissions with your upsells. Plus, you'll earn more money too, and you'll be able to afford to hold JV contests and pay out cash bonuses. And just being able to do all these things will enable you to get more sales out of your launch and grow your business a lot bigger. Of course, when you're first starting out though, you know, you just want to get your feet wet. You don't really have to have any upsells, but I highly recommend that you do. Now, let's look at that list of products from the previous videos that we created as part of our brainstorm session. Okay, so remember the first product uh, that we talked about was creating a software. So what kind of upsell uh, can you have for a software product? Um, well, in the upsell, you could offer a pro version of that software, uh, a software, it could be basically the exact same software, but just with one or two additional features. Optionally, if you don't want to put in the extra work or money into adding those extra features, you could just simply offer resale rights to the software. Now, the next product is an ebook. What if you create or write an ebook? Uh, what type of upsell are you going to have for that? Well, you could offer a video version of that ebook. So basically, you could just go on uh, software such as Camtasia and just create PowerPoints and just read off the, the content on those PowerPoints that you got from your ebook and then just package that as video tutorials. Okay, you could also offer resale rights to your ebook, or you could offer additional training in the form of another ebook or videos. Now, if you were to want to sell graphics for your main offer, uh, for your upsell, you could offer just more graphics, okay, or offer resale rights. So basically, if you were to go to Fiverr and pay for a package of, say, 100 graphics that you want created for your launch, um, you could just sell. 50 of those graphics in the front end and then sell the other 50 in the upsell. Now if you were to create video tutorials or sell video tutorials in your front end offer, um, for your upsell offer you could offer more video tutorials or just simply offer resale rights or even private label rights to the video tutorials. Now if you were selling reports in the front end, uh, again you could just offer resale rights or offer additional training, again in, in the form of um, an ebook or videos. And if you were to sell articles in the front end offer, you could just offer more articles or offer resale rights. Okay, so if you were to go to Fiverr or any other freelance site and you pay the guy to, you could pay someone to, to write, say, 20 articles or even 50 or 100, uh, depending on how much you can afford, and then just sell half of that in the front end and the other half in the upsell. If you were to sell royalty-free images in the front-end offer, well, same thing. Just offer more images in the upsell or offer resale rights to those images in the upsell. And as for audio lessons, again, you could just offer more lessons in the upsell or offer resale rights.